Hi, I'm John. This is my show, An American Scheme, where I'm proving that Diana Ross is Michael Jackson's actual mother. So I'm going to show you why my story hasn't been exposed to the public. Is because all of the people in the world are simpletons. They're frauds. And they're too weak of soul of the nature of the human beings that they actually are is they can't do with the reality of like what real artists are and what real intelligence is because once they get exposed to what the real stuff is then all they can see is how fake they are and stuff right so this is River Gibbs this is River Gibbs who used to be big in the Michael Jackson community as a MJ I guess you would call him an impersonator but it's like dude, it was like oh my god he really couldn't dance that good and when he put up on when he put the makeup on it's like he looked like some bozo with blackface on I mean he was disgusting then instead of dealing with my story he starts first he comes out and says that Michael Jackson was castrated and he knows that because uh, this guy, I forgot the guy's name. What's the guy's name? The Dr. Murray, Dr. Conrad Murray. He says, oh, well, Conrad Murray says that Michael Jackson was castrated, was chemically castrated by Joe, right? So his, you know, his source for his quality information was the guy who killed Michael Jackson. <laughs> so he was willing to trust Dr. Conrad Murray. This is what I'm telling you about what low-level scumbags these people actually are in the real world. He's willing to trust Dr. Murray, but then he couldn't trust me. So then he's willing to, he goes and he's willing to trust Dan Reed, who makes Leaving Neverland. He's willing to trust Dan Reed and then follows in the lead of what Dan Reed says and then uh, River Gibbs says, I'm not a Michael Jackson fan anymore because Michael Jackson's a pedophile. So he's willing to do all that, right? But he couldn't ever have one conversation with me, a guy who was actually here trying to have a conversation with him. He was not capable of having a conversation with me because he's just a total fraud and a disgusting human being in the nature and the soul of what he actually is. So what I'm going to show you here is like how low level these people are. So River Gibbs thinks he's playing guitar now. He's a guitar player, right? So what I'm going to show you is that Okay, when, when there's 10-year-olds out there that do what you do much better than you, then it shows that you're nowhere near, you're nothing. You're like, you're just nothing, right? So here's a little bit, here's River Gibbs playing guitar. <laughs> Okay, so River Gibbs playing guitar. Now, here's a 10-year-old kid. This kid says 10-year-old Stephanos rips through Eruption Live. Okay, so this is a 10-year-old, okay? So there's River Gibbs playing the guitar. Now, here's a 10-year-old. There's 10-year-olds out there who shred. Okay? That's what I'm saying. It's like, dude, there's no artistic ability in what River Gibbs is doing. There's, he's a fraud. Are you ready? Can you hear Okay, the 10 year old shreds. <laughs> okay, so it's like, what you're doing, River Gibbs, okay, well, just look at the real world. Are there 10 year olds who do what you are trying to do way better than what you do? Okay, yeah. So that's the end of that discussion, right? No artistic ability in there. So then there's a River Gibbs uh, boyfriend, Yuri Castillo. And if you see there in the middle there, right between the wings, here, I'll zoom in so we can see it better. Okay, it says, at Yuri Castillo, okay? So here, Yuri Castillo painted this, uh, he called it a, what's a, Mandela with, uh, with angel wings, right? Okay, so what, does this make you an artist? Because you wouldn't paint it a little bit of something on a, on a freaking wall and stuff? Does this make you an artist? It's like, well, let's challenge that. Are there 10 year olds out there who are doing what you're doing, who are capable of doing what you're doing and do it actually much better than you? So here's a, this is actually a nine year old, okay? Already earning $25,000 for her work and she's only nine. We discovered Akiana Kramarik in a small town in Idaho. Today, she's completed 40 paintings. Hello. Okay, so look at this girl's nine years old and she's making paintings like with intricate details and then you got to layer the colors and do all the shading and stuff to actually make paintings like this. Okay, she's nine. She's nine. So it's like, Yuri, oh, Yuri, Yuri painted a Mandela on a wall and put some wings. So he thinks he's an artist and stuff. It's like, dude, you're not an artist. This girl is like, you can consider this girl an artist. She's nine years old. So it's just one of those things that I'm trying to show you is that 
these people, they, they live in this world that's like, no, I'm an artist. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I paint, I paint it on the wall. I'm an artist. I paint faces. I'm an artist. Oh yeah, like River Gibbs. Oh yeah, oh, I used to be a Michael Jackson dancer. Now I'm a guitar player. I'm an artist. I've got, see, I've got an artistic nature in my soul. And it's, the reason I'm artistic is because I care for people. I really care about people. And I'm, I'm really interested in the truth and helping people. These bozos can't even have a discussion with me. Somebody who's actually trying to have a discussion with them, right? Now, now let's look at what I've done. So this is Michael Jackson's song, Billie Jean. So I've explained what the song Billie Jean is, and we'll just look at the first line right here. And now, this has never been done by, there's never been a Michael Jackson fan that's ever existed who's, who's done this. There's never been a reporter who reported on Michael Jackson who's ever done this. There's never been anybody who's written a book about Michael Jackson who has ever done this. There's no music critic or any musician out there who is qualified to be able to decipher the actual meaning of what these lyrics actually mean. Nobody's ever done it. One person did it, me. So there ain't no 9 or 10 year old out in the world that's capable of doing what I did. I'm a total different level of artistic ability and because I have the true nature where I care about people and I listen and I look at things and I try to have a true understanding of what's going on, that's why I'm capable of doing this because I am flat out a better person than like River Gibbs or his, uh, it's like I don't know if they got married. So I'd say, I, I, it's like first I would say uh, River Gibbs or his gay lover Yuri Castillo, but I know that they got engaged so it's like okay well River Gibbs or his fiance. Um, see, and I don't know if it's like, do you use that word in that, you know, it's, it's like, <laughs> do I use the right pronoun and shit, right? Okay, so River Gibbs or his fiance, Yuri Castillo, or is it River Gibbs and his partner, his life partner? I think that's a better word, actually. Now, see, see, and I'll go through the descriptions until I figure out the one that I think is more fitting and stuff. Okay, so now, is was River Gibbs or his life partner artistic enough to ever do anything like this? No. And the th sad thing is, like, if they were actually pure of nature and good-hearted people in their soul, when I came and tried to have a conversation, first of all, they would have said, hey, this guy's trying to have a conversation with you. You know, it's like, but no, he wants to label me racist, and I'm, like, anti-gay. And it's like, how could I be anti-gay and racist? You're he's Mexican. You're, you're gay and stuff. It's like, I'm clearly trying to have a conversation with you. More than welcome to speak with you and have conversation with you. How am I those things? So since you can't understand what I am, you're going to throw these harsh the criticisms and labels on me. It's like because actually you're evil. That actually proves the true nature of what you actually are, River Gibbs, is that you're evil. You're evil. So... The song Billie Jean, she was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene, okay? He's talking about Billie Jean. He's telling you right there, okay, this is the Billie Jean person I'm talking about. So he says she was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. And so obviously I'm not going to explain the whole song to you and stuff, right? But when Michael Jackson is 10 years old and living in Diana Ross's house, after the Jackson 5 signed to Motown, they moved to Los Angeles and they moved into Diana Ross's house. So at, the at that same time, Diana Ross is filming the movie Lady Sings the Blues. Now, Michael Jackson knows Diana Ross as a singer of the Supremes, right? He knows her as a singer from a band. That's what he knows her from. But at the time of which he's living in her house, she's filming the movie Lady Sings the Blues, okay? So she's more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. Okay, well, Diana Ross is actually filming her first movie. So instead of her, instead of Michael Jackson's first appearance of saying, well, Diana Ross, yeah, she's in, she's a, in the Supremes, you know? She's a singer in, in, the, in the band The Supremes. And the first line of what the Billie Jean is, she was more like, she's more like, because he knows her as being a singer from The Supremes. But when he meets her, she's more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. Because when Michael Jackson's living in her house, when he actually is living with her and hanging around with her, she's more like a beauty queen from a movie scene because Diana Ross is filming her first movie of which she's playing the character Billie Holiday and the Billie is spelled exactly the same as the Billie Jean. How could that be coincidence? That I'm just, oh, I'm just making this up. It's just an accident and shit, right? So she's more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. Honey, you are wearing this thing out and me with it. Billie. I don't stand in no line for nobody. All right. We 
wanted to talk to you about joining us. A colored singer with a white band. You mean we have all this fun and we still be paid? You feel like this? This place is fantastic. And so are you. Billy, we love you sincerely very much. Billy, Billy. You sing your heart out. I'll get you Carnegie Hall. Yeah, okay, yeah, she's, she's playing a singer in the movie, but look at her. She's more like, she's not like a singer. In reality, what she is, if you see her film in this movie or Michael Jackson and your impression of her at this time is like, well, she's more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. This is what he's talking about. The first line of the frickin' song basically explains the whole thing. And then you go through the song. Once you got that uh, foundation of which to build on, now you can understand the song. Once I tell you, it's like, well, the song is about Michael Jackson's experience at 10 years old when he met Diana Ross, and then she informed him that she was actually his real mother. That's what the song's actually about. This is the time of which it occurred. This is what's going on. Nobody has ever done this ever in history, but I did it. You know, and I can't even get Michael Jackson fans or people that are supposed to respect art and truth and like the search for truth and caring about art like uh, River Gibbs or Yuri Castillo. These are people supposed to care about the truth. They're supposed to care about the world. They're supposed to care about people. They're supposed to care about what art is. They won't even speak with me. All the Michael Jackson fans, everybody, they won't even speak with me. They refuse to have a conversation with me. Why? Because I'm exposing the truth? Because I'm showing that you're going to have to deal now with how stupid you are? It's like, maybe if you deal and have an understanding of how stupid you are, maybe that'll help you progress in the world while you're still alive and capable of developing and, and furthering the, uh, the, your soul and uh, helping yourself be a better person. But, oh, I'm a bad guy because I'm trying to give you a piece of information that can help enlighten you and let lift you up so you could uh, further advance this life uh, path that we're on instead of just living the same bozo life that you're living where you're just frauds you're afraid to speak to people you can't deal with the reality that there's actual people out there that have talent you don't care about those people it's pathetic river gibbs has been a fraud his whole life his uh Life partner, Yuri Castillo, that's why they make such a good couple, because they just so, sit there and lift each other up, while in reality, they're both total frauds. They don't care about art, they don't care about helping other people, all they care about is lifting each other up to make themselves feel that they're better than the other people in the world. They're frauds.